Ken, can you say a few words? This is Ken David. Today is Hi. Here we go. Heat TV presents Homework Hotline, the after school show that fuses learning with fun. Watch local teachers bring the classroom on air and online. This is Homework Hotline. Hey, welcome to Homework Hotline. I'm Ken Pinkerton. I'm a retired science teacher from Zane Middle School. My name is Amy Taylor, and I teach 8th grade math and integrated 1 and 2 math at Sunny Bray Middle School, and I'll be back on campus soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, and well, so welcome to Homework Hotline. Yes. We're here to try and uh, show you some cool stuff. <laughs> Yeah. And, and we've got some topical events. And uh, <laughs> so if you've been paying attention to, uh, should we talk about it? Yeah. yeah. So I did this a few weeks ago because it was my, I thought it'd be my closest to pie day. And I did volume and I did volume of cylinders. This is pie cherries, uh, the sodium free small V8 can, an ice cream cone and a basketball. So I had spheres cylinders and cones in order to be close to Pi Day, and now I get to be on again, and I, it's, it's a lot of work, so I actually only fit in volume. So today we're gonna talk about total surface area. I have green near St. Patrick's Day, but then this is my Pi shirt back from 2004 Math Club HSU. <laughs> Tie it both together, because Pi Day was on Sunday, 3.14. So basically I got this saved, which is super cool. So what I did last time, is we took the pie cherry can, we found the volume, and that's just gonna really be base area times height. It's kind of a cool thing if you look at these, cause you gotta take the area of any base, that can be for any cylinder or prism, and then boom, you fill it with the height and that gives you volume. So that's pretty cool. And that's basically what I did here. And I thought it'd be cool to come back to this and we're gonna go ahead and do surface area and I'll kind of toggle between. So I'm gonna go past the cone and the basketball sphere and we'll get to this new one so we'll just do the measurements again because you know just different people we had mm -hmm. pam on the other time so basically what we're going to do for surface area and we'll do the the cylinders first because i talked about them so we're going to need the height the diameter the ba the best you can and we did already do this and we're going to use different of these measurements in order to find it but if you want to try that again, and we're kind of going to the nearest quarter of an inch or, in, you know, I mean, just really yep. ballparking. You want to do centimeters? Uh, we did inches last okay. time because I thought some of them would be bigger numbers, putting okay. less in a calculator. Okay, but so that's just in good. terms of time crunching, math can take hours if you want it to. Okay, so we got, uh, uh, looks like and three and three and three quarters. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with whatever. Yeah, three and you three quarters tall. Yes, yes, that sounds and, great. And uh, two inches in diameter. Let's see, we can actually see what we got last time and we'll see how close that is, why not? This is what math and science people do. Height, three and a quarter, three quarters inches and we got diameter somewhere two on inches. here. Oh, two inches. So we Same. agree. Same, woo. <laughs> Yay. That's what's fun with math and science though. You do, you wanna, and engineering actually go back and forth, all those right. things. So what we're gonna do for total surface area of a cylinder, we'll start with the V8 can, the smaller one, is we kinda wanna, it's almost like wrapping around, so we're not like filling, we're kinda just, if you think of like painting the outside, and then you paint all just around the outside, and I'll show you because I have a piece of paper, but it's like, just pretend we're painting it. I know it kinda looks funny, but pretend we're painting it, we're dipping it in paint. So basically, I brought a piece of paper for this reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because basically what you have is this is my V8 can or my pie can. It's, it's a piece of paper. It's hard to picture, but it's like if you peel off the label, what you have is a rectangle. And that's kind of easier to visualize because I'm like, if I dip it in paint, like what is that shape or how do I even do that? But what's cool is it always, always is a rectangle. I picked green, obviously, St. Mm -hmm. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but um, 
that's, and then we have to think, okay, well, rectangles are base times height or length times width because we want to do area. Base times height, length times width. So the height is going to be like the cylinder. So that's the height. But then what's the base? That's weird. What, is that, what does that do? You know what it is? You can tell me or not. Like, what is it of the circle if you have the base of this? What does that oh, match the, to the circle? That's going to be the circumference. Yeah, the circumference. And so we think, like, that's a base of a rectangle circumference. But it is. For a cylinder, the base is the circumference, which goes around. It's like perimeter, but circular. And then times by height. So be careful when you're doing these kinds of problems, because I know a lot of them, like, I see them on the test. They're like, what if it's a cup? And then you only have one base. Or what if it's just a cylinder and you have no bases? So just be careful. They call this lateral or vertical surface area because it's just the side, like the label. If you're ever doing these problems in school, be careful how many bases they're asking for. I'm going to do the whole thing. But sometimes they might just ask for the label or like a cup doesn't have a lid sometimes. So I know that comes up and then people want to do the whole formula. All right, there's my painting job. <laughs> so um, what we're going to call, I'll just write here, vertical or lateral surface area. Oops. Lateral surface area. So what we said, it was it, that it was circumference times height. So I'm going to say circumference times height. Well, circumference, I talked about this a little bit last time. And I know, I mean, Ken will, po will pop in and say, but circumference, basically what people did is they took this circumference, and you can do it in your house, walk around, divide by this diameter, and then they kept getting these numbers near pi. So then I start to think about, well, how do I remember that? Well, my brain just goes, well, if I think about how long this is, it's about one of those, two of those, three of those. You know, for formulas, I need my logic in my brain. And that's like, I can see that length going about three a little more than that. Mm -hmm. And all they did was multiply both sides, property of equality by diameter, and circumference is pi d. So what we're going to do is pi times d and then times the height. And that's going to give us our lateral or vertical surface area. They say vertical because it's straight up and down. You do other things, you kind of have lateral. It's not necessarily up and down. But yes, definitely for cylinders, they say vertical. So we're going to do 3.14. And this is where you get to be my calculator okay. helper, if that's OK. 3.14, and then the diameter we said was 2, two mm -hmm. inches. And then my height was 3.75 inches. 3.75 inches. And so that's going to be about my lateral surface area. 23.55. Perfect. And you can always think about it too. 3 times 3 is, or 3 times 4, say, is 12 times 2 is 24. And I always say, what is it, 22.55? 23.55. 23. But I always think if you try to ballpark it so you don't get like 2,000 all don't of a sudden. Don't get 700. Or yeah, <laughs> something like that. I mean, that's something we, we do accidentally. In inches yeah. square. Yeah. So this is, yeah, why is it squared? Do you want to say why? Well, because it, it, it's the, it, you're measuring in inches, and so it's all the little squares that make up that much. Yeah, and, we, and people get confused because they're like, oh, it's all around it. But that's why I like to do the piece of paper. Two-dimensional, one-way, two-way. Mm -hmm. Volume is three, but I think we get confused, especially with cylinders, because it's so tricky. Mm -hmm. But no, if we can flatten it out, we can be like, oh, yeah, it's two-dimensional, inches squared. Mm -hmm. Now all we need to do is the circles, which is the base, and we actually did that. This will be good because these things take a lot of time, so it's good to look back. So when we do volume, we do base area times height. So this base area, this is, see the V8 can, we do our base area, which is pi r squared, but how cool is pi r squared when your radius is 1? Because mm -hmm. if I see my diameter is all the way across, then my radius is going to be 1 because my diameter all the way across was 2. Well, 1 times 1 is the identity times 3.14. Basically, our bases of this V8 can are just 3.14 inches squared, which is super cool. The other thing I wanted to tell you is how I remember pi r squared for area. If you make a radius by radius and you make a square, you can't fit 4 there. There's all this extra. So what's a little less than 4? Four? 3. 3.14. So I used that logic, and I actually 
do a project in school where people, you cut out the three R squared and you fit it into the circle. Oh, but nice. just I try to think, how do I make this in my brain? Yeah. Do I have four of them, five of them? What do I have? Well, you have about four less than four, three pi, pi R squared. So. And then I remember oh, yeah, when, I, when I'm trying to separate if I'm doing circumference or the area is that the area is going to be in, in squares. Oh, yeah. So that's an Area squares like this. Right. Two dimensional, yeah. So, so if you multiply by the square. Um, yeah, whereas yeah. circumference, if you're just going one dimensional, like you're an ant walking around the top, yeah, right. then you just have inches. Yeah, it's pi d, one dimensional, whereas r squared is two dimensional. Yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in, and then we'll be done with our surface area for this one. So I'm going to do a different color just because. So for my base area, my big B, which is base area, it's pi r squared, which was about 3.14. Remember, my diameter is 2, so my radius, which is half, is going to be 1 inch. So 1 plus 1 is 2. This will be my radius. It's like the spokes, I think, of like a spokes on a tire. Times 1 inch times 1 inch is about 3.14 inches squared. Now depending, like I said, sometimes you'll just have the lateral surface area, the, the um, label, you just write this. Sometimes you have one base, it's a cup, but in this pa place, spa whatever the word I'm starting to say, in this situation, we're going to have two bases mm -hmm. because we're going to do the whole thing. The top and bottom, right? Yes. So we're going to do what's called total surface area, which is going to be about, and I'll use my little colors, which is going to be about the lateral surface area. And then we're going to have two bases, so we're going to do plus 2 times 3.14 inches squared, which the whole thing is going to be about, well, we could, I guess you can do it in a calculator just for time. I mean, sure. it's going to be 2 times 3 is 6, and then it's going to be about 30. So okay. 23.55 plus 3.14, or times it by 2. It'll be close to 30. And that's going to be square inches to go around this. So 30 little, if you take square inches, 30 little square inches, and you counted top, <laughs> that's about how much to go around this. Uh, so I get uh, 147.89. Does that sound right? No, it should be 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. It's close to 30. I could even just write 30. 30. Oh, you're adding it. I'm sorry, I was multiplying. My yeah, mind. no problem. Okay. I know it's close to 30. It'd probably be faster. Sometimes it's faster to add. But this is good with calculators, though, because people will just plug stuff in, and you're like, you have to. This is this is what scientists and mathematicians do. You you keep working on it until you get it, and you you talk about the logic of it and all that stuff. That is real science and math. <laughs> all right. So, but I'm going to make a line. So, so we I got 29.83. Sorry. Woo! No, that was so that so was close. close. 29. 29. Oh yeah, 20. I forgot. Erase. 29.83, but again, for all intents and purposes, 30 is fine. <laughs> right. When we're ballparking, we're already ballparking, so 29.83, and our brains can think that's about 30 square inches to get around mm -hmm. that. Now our volume, when we did the V8 can, which is why I kept this, which is so cool that they, thank you for keeping this data. So, and then volume is how much stuff it will hold, right? Yeah, and this is the V8 the, the, can. The so the V8 right. can held about 12 cubic inches, so that's a whole cube. So that fills it with liquid, but, so that's this part, the V8 can right here, 12 cubic inches, but it's surface area where if we painted the outside, the two-dimensional, we'd have 30 square inches to go around all of it. It seems right. logical. Yeah. All right, let's do the, compared the surface area to the... This one? Okay. Yes, the pie can. Pie filling. Pie so we, I've got very pie four. We'll see what we did here. Four and a half. Four and a half high and three inches tall. I don't even know. I got diameters three. I don't know if I got a height on this. Mm -hmm. Must have just maybe I was in a hurry. Are you, is that three point <laughs> seven five? Let me. I'll double check my. Oh no! I did it on this page. I ran out of time and put okay. it back. I remember four and a half inches was the height. 
And three inches was, did you get four and a half? What yeah. did you get for the height? Did you say I four got and four and a half? half yeah. Oh, perfect. Yes, four and a half. I remember I went back because I wanted it to be next to it. I think I'll do the same thing then. Sometimes it's hard to do all that work squished. Okay, here we go. I'll bring it back after we do it. So here's the cherry can. Make it bigger. <laughs> it's actually why we're right. painting it again. <laughs> painting, painting all the outside, painting all the outside. All right, so we got to do our lateral or vertical surface area. So if we do that, I think I did that in red last time. So my lateral surface area or vertical surface area, I wrote it on the other one, is going to be circumference. Remember, we got to go around it times the height. That's going to be our, that piece of paper you'd round it, go about it, or the label. And that's going to be pi d times the height, which is about 3.14. And the diameter was, we said three inches. Three, right. And the height is four and a half inches. So okay. we will see what the vertical surface area is. Erase that. About, let's see, three times three times five, kind of, 45, uh, 41. I don't know. 42.36. 42.36. It's really good to ballpark. 39, but that's close enough. <laughs> okay, that's that works. I don't mind writing it either. It's all good. Okay, so let's just look at the last one just to be, I like to compare things. So this was 23 mm -hmm. to wrap like a paper around that or a label versus that's 42. So mm -hmm. it's almost double, but look how much more pack. Go, much more goes around this right. than this. So that Can I borrow your pen just to Yes, absolutely. A, 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 another way to look at it is this is the top, and this is the bottom, and then this wraps around. Oh, yeah. To stick it out there yeah, instead of so me scribbling all over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you figured out the, the circumference here, right? Yes. That was there, and yes. then you multiplied it times its height. Yes. So that's the circumference. So it's this like 9.42. So 9.42 would be like the circumference. And then the height would be like times four and a half or four times five-ish or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you. Very cool. All right. Let's do our two bases. So my base area is going to be pi r squared. I'll need two of those, which is going to be about 3.14. And remember, we said the diameter was three inches. So the radius, which is half, is going to be half of three, which is one and a half inches. So we're going to do times one and a half inches times one and a half inches. I just write out squared because people think it's times two. And I feel like if you just write it out into a big multiplication thing, multiplication is commutative anyway. So if we would just stretch it out to a big multiplication problem, you won't mix up exponents because you'll have it all so written out. 7.065. Right? Yeah, let's yeah, go to hundreds. Three. So that's our base. So we have seven. So my total surface area, remember, is going to be my lateral surface area, which is 42.39 square inches, plus my two bases, as you can see here, <laughs> plus my two bases, which are each 7.07, .07, and then you can if you don't mind figuring okay, out the yeah, total for that. No, it's totally fine. Which is about, so seven plus seven is 14 plus 42, so what, 58 or something like that? Something approximately. Yeah. And then we will do the little ice cream. 56.3, or 42 plus four, yeah, 56. 56.53. 53 square inches. inches right. So we are gonna go back. 56 point, what did you say? 56.53. Square inches. Right. And if we look at that versus this one was about 30, right. it makes sense. So this, it'd be like 56. So if we go, and we'll have to do two more things. I know, so much math, so much. Okay, so if we go back here, the volume was 30 cubic to fill in with liquid, fill it in, but 
my surface area is if I'm painting or wrapping around the outside, it's going right. to be 56 square inches, and that's like right. paper, like or wrapping if, around. And then what's amazing is, even though these are pretty pretty close, yeah, the, the, the vast amount of more metal that it takes yeah. to make, make that can is phenomenal. I know it is. And just the they power look of that, The power of the little. <laughs> yeah, the, the and well, and it has to do with even squaring because. Even when you go out this way in two dimensional, that's going to be so much more than what that one is. Mm -hmm. But anyway, all right, we'll go to the cone. Okay. Okay. So the cone is going to be, um, it actually has one base, but I'm going to show you it without a base and then I'll just say if it did, because really it only has the cone part. So we are going to do height and uh, diameter the best you can, obviously. Okay. And I will pull up the other so information we had. <laughs> Four and a half? Yep, four That's and a half. An yeah, it's kind of cool. It's pretty close to this four, one. It's pretty um, cool. And uh, you want to call it two? We did 1.8. Okay, but that, that's fine. Yeah, no, I was just. I think it was like close to one and three quarters, so we rounded to 1.8, so it would divide easily by yeah, two. Yeah, it's about, yeah. I know, it's, I mean, inches are in sixteenths. And yeah. Eighth. It just gets complicated. <laughs> that's why, yes, metric is better. I was just using smaller numbers. Okay, yeah. here we go. Cone cone and it's like if you had like the ice cream cones where you peel off there's like paper around it and then <laughs> they mm -hmm. come without like drumstick or something like that it'd be like that that's what we want so we're going to do the lateral surface area first which this has a it has a pretty complicated proof for um uh why the lateral surface area is the way it is so i'm just going to tell it to you it's called pi r l now we haven't dealt with L yet. L is called a slant height. And only pyramids and cones have slant heights. Everything else is vertical. So we're gonna have to figure out a new thing that I haven't done yet. <laughs> so we have pi, we have the radius, which the, I'll, well he's getting that, the diameter all the way across is 1.8 inches. So the radius is 1.4 inches. I should be saying approximate for even those, but um, so that's 1.4 inches. So I'm going to say four and a half just for ease. Yeah, that's totally that fine. Good. What did we get for the height of it? Was the it height was also, I think, four and a half. Oh, weird. Let's see if well, it it's pretty close. And then if I do, it's about four and three eighths, but. Oh, interesting. Yeah, about four and three eighths for the height. It's yeah, it's probably because we're rounding so much. <laughs> yeah. We will go. So three. What is three? Three. Oh, three eighths is less than a half. But the slant should be bigger than the height. This is real life trying to round is what the problem okay, let's is. Let's see what this is. So it's yeah, it's four and a half ish. But what the height would be straight. And it's four. So four and three eighths and about four and a four and. They're, they're pretty close. They're very that's close. Weird. Yeah. It shouldn't be. It's because it's we're not a very just... steep angle, though. Oh, that's <laughs> true. That's true. It's pretty. If you compare it on there, it's it's. Uh... I see what you're saying. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All right. We will just do the best we can. So we're going to say the slant height is about what we say four and a half yes. inches. Okay. Yeah. So let's say what is our. And remember, for volume, you're going to use the height down the middle. That's just called H, and we're not doing volume. We're doing L, which is slant height, which is this slanted part, and that's going to be what we use for surface area. 3.14 times 4 inches? Just 4? Straight 3.14 four. times 1.4 times 4.5. Okay. <laughs> this is a 5. Times 4.5? 4.5, yeah. Okay, we get 19.782. 78 inch square inches. So that's about 20 square inches just to go around the cone. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to also add in the base, which we're, I'm just going to move on so we can get to the basketball. But basically, you would just add one of those pi r squared. Now, remember what I did here is I did two of these pi r squareds. I did two bases for the surface area. I did two bases but we had two bases when you do a cone you just simply do one base but for an ice cream actual ice cream cone you're only going to have one base so wrapping around would be 20 square inches the volume we did for that one was 
here, the volume was about nine. So mm -hmm. nine cubic inches to fill this and then to wrap around as if there's paper, it's gonna be what we ended up with, which was 20 square inches to go to around it. it. Yeah, right. it's pretty cool. All can right, we're gonna fit, oh, go ahead. Can I even show you this Yeah, thing show that while I set this up, yes. Okay. So show yours. So we've been talking about pi, um, the number 3.14, I wanna yes. show you where, one of the places it comes from is the relationship of circles. Yes, this is so cool. So this is, um, a piece I made oh, for the, the so we have a circle here um, and it, so this is at zero and this is the diameter here and if I roll it okay there's one diameter I've rolled and it's still gone there oh, so this is cool. two diameters Aww. and then if I come all the way to I make a complete circle there's three and I'm not done rolling <laughs> that's my pointer it's there and then that's the 3.14159 <laughs> oh, that's, oh, so that's fun so this is that that's where the relationship or one of the places pi comes from is a relationship between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. Oh, that's so cool. And actually, if we go to my old work on my basketball with Pam, we had to find circumference of a basketball because it's too hard to go straight across. So we found the circumference divided by the diameter mm -hmm. to get pi. We did that, so we took 30 divided by 6.28, and we got that the radius is 4.8 inches, exactly what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna take that 4.8 inches and I can go fast with this now. <laughs> so now we're gonna figure the volume? We're gonna do the surface area oh, of this basketball. Okay. And the surface area of a, of a sphere, total surface area sphere, can go fast. Because I got, <laughs> it's only one calculation actually for spheres, which is nice. Is, well, it is, it's just basically one thing. Yes, perfect. Is equal to, I'm going to say, I'll mess up if I go too fast. Okay, it's equal to the formula, which is four pi r squared. This is so cool. Someone taught me this about a, a it was Brad Ballinger from HSU. If you draw, like if you think if you peel off a baseball, you'd peel it off like this, all the sides, you know, you have like the stitching. How many circles, if you kind of peeled off a baseball, you'd have four circles. Mm -hmm. And four circles, area of four circles is four pi r squared. So that's how I always think of it. It's like peeling off a baseball, or it could be a basketball, the circle's off, and that's gonna mm -hmm. be my surface area. So we have four times 3.14 times, what did I say the radius was? Sorry. <laughs> I have it right here on the basketball. It is 4.8, we're so close, we're so close. 4.8, 4.8 times 4.8. 60.28. Oh, you already got all that together? Yep. 60.28 square inches to go around this basketball. 60, 60 square inches of paper to get around this basketball. Oh, I got them, actually, more than that, I gotta multiply it times okay. another, another 4.8, sorry. No, it's okay. Volume 200, 200. is 463 cubic inches for volume, and it actually is what? 289. 289. That makes more yes, sense. <laughs> I'm like, that wouldn't be enough. 60. Yeah, 289 square inches around this basketball. 289 square inches. And volume, it was over 400. Anyway, cubic inches. So thank you for so tuning in. Happy takes Old Pie Day. a lot of material day. to make a ball. Then. Yes. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. See you. Bye. We'll be back on Thursday. <laughs>